The purpose of this video is to give a quick 10 minute demonstration of Kaspersky's management console, Kaspersky Administration Kit. It's not designed as a technical training resource. Full one-to-one -one product demonstrations which are more in-depth are available. Please ask your account manager or visit the contact us page on our website to arrange one. The admin kit is an MMC based console. This means that all users that want to administer the kit will need to connect to the server via remote desktop or install the console element on their machines and then point it to the server. The first screen you'll be presented with in your login is the getting started screen. You can see that it's a page of useful links to take you to various places in the admin kit which is ideal if you know exactly what you want to do. The next section we'll look at is reporting. The main reporting screen gives you a good amount of general information about the status of Kaspersky on your network, with quick links to the correct place to rectify the problem. There are five statistic subcategories that can be viewed by selecting them from the tab menu to give an overview on various aspects of your network. These are protection status, deployment, update, antivirus statistics, and general information. You'll notice there isn't a lot of information as this is just running on the test network. Kaspersky's reporting functionality has vastly improved since the last version and offers up most, if not all, of the information that you'd want to view. The reports are customizable and can be run on a schedule to be emailed to the applicable person or people. Reports can be run on groups of machines, so in an environment where different people are responsible for different groups of machines, a report can be scheduled that only includes those machines those individuals would be interested in. For example, I can create a new report to show me viruses only for the test one group. So I give the report a name, in this case test one report, 